gang, it's Chris Eads, Wootini, over at GayGamer.net, here with another weekly video podcast. And this week, uh, I've been playing uh, We Fit You. Um, that was released, uh, it was released Friday, into the Nintendo eShop. It is a free download. Um, so you can just download it, um, as long as you have a balance board. You can just download the game from the eShop, and give it a try, you have a 30-day trial period, after which point it will stop working, um, but if at any point during that 30 days you wish to keep it permanently, all you have to do is go out to a store and buy one of these little fit meters. They're 20 bucks, and it's a little pedometer that you sync to the game, um, so every day it will keep track of all your steps, and uh, the heights that you have climbed on stairs, and keep track of that in the game for you. And so for $20 you can get We Fit You, which is honestly um, a great deal. I mean, as long as you already have a balance board. If you don't have a balance board, you'll have to wait until, I believe, December. They're releasing a retail package with the balance board and the fit meter and the game, probably for like 80 bucks. I forget the actual price. Um, but I know plenty of people already have balance boards um, that they got with the original Wii Fit, um, and it actually works out really nice because um, every time that Nintendo has released a new Wii Fit game, it's kind of been like an incremental step as opposed to a real sequel. Um, when they released Wii Fit Plus, it basically just added some features that just really improved the game, um, as well as a few more games you know, exercises and mini-games, um, but they just kind of finessed it a little more, um, but they only charge you 20 bucks for it. And then here again, they're only charging you 20 bucks for it, um, presuming that you already have a balance board, because it is pretty much the same game. Um, they have added even more new features, along with more activities and more games, um, but the basic core of the game remains the same, and the core activities are still the same activities uh, from before. Um, although if you didn't want to wait until December, you could probably get a used balance board somewhere for pretty cheap. Because I expect a lot of people probably got Wii Fit with the balance board and then got bored with it and realized there weren't any other games that used the balance board, so they said, ah, to heck with it, and collected dust and they were just returned it to GameStop or something for a credit. Although I assume that GameStop would maybe give you, like, five bucks for a balance board. I don't know. They don't give a lot, that GameStop. Um, but I'm enjoying uh, We Fit You. Um, so far, um, the two new main features, um, as opposed to the new exercises and such, the two big main features are the Fit Meter and also the new Gym Communities, which link through Miiverse. Um, and you can create a gym and then give everybody the code number it's like your friend code number for your gym, and then they can join your gym. And I've already got a couple of people who've joined my gym, and basically what it amounts to is you can see, once you join a gym, uh, whether it's yours or someone else's, everyone else in that gym appears on screen, and you can tap them on the gamepad and select them and see how much they've been working out. Now your weight is not transmitted to the group. Um, and in fact, it's a little sad that there isn't an option for that. Like, I, you know, it's nice that it's default not, but it would be nice if you could share your weight and you could show your progress to your friends. Because right now, it seems like all you can do is check and see what they're doing and see how much they're working out versus how much you're working out. And then if you see everybody else is working out, then you're going to feel like a slacker and maybe you'll play more. I don't know. Um... There's not a whole lot of communication going on. There's no, like, challenges that you can say, all right, everybody, we're going to do, you know, 20 minutes of aerobics tomorrow. Everyone has to do 20 minutes of aerobics or something, and then everyone plays it for 20 minutes or whatever, and then you met the challenge or something, you know. Um, like, there isn't any of that, at least not that I've seen. Um, but it is nice that they're trying to explore the sense of community, and it is good, because if you have your friends in your gym with you, it will keep you motivated. Um, and it's a little more interesting than... So far, the fit meter is... It's kind of weird. Um, I mean, granted, I have only been doing this for almost a week now, um, so I haven't really gotten a sense of 
like, I feel like it's not doing much, but maybe there's something I'm missing, but I don't think I am. Um, seeing the fit meter data on the screen, it's funny because it says it only records, like, 40 days or something, and then it deletes them, and if you have a day that you want to keep, you can lock it, but you can only keep, like, 20 or something. Um, like, you're limited to the number of days, and I'm like, how come it won't keep track of them, like, permanently? Because you'd think you'd want to keep that. But looking at the actual data, I'm like, yeah, it's pretty much the same data every day, because I get up, I go to work, I come home, so those are the stairs I'm climbing, and those are the distances I'm walking, and it's pretty much the same day to day. I guess if I was going to, like, hike, hike up a mountain, that might be a day with a more interesting curve to the graph, and I would save that. Although why I would save that, I don't know, because it doesn't really, it's just a graph. Um, but what's more interesting about the fit meter is it tracks the steps that you've taken as well as the heights that you've climbed. I'm not really sure. It's something with air pressure it measures to tell how high you are. I don't know how it measures altitude exactly. I'm not a scientist. Um, it has a clock in it, and it also tells you the temperature, although the temperature is kind of useless because you're clipping it to your pants or your belt, so your body heat is going to interfere with that. So why you'd need to know the temperature to begin with, I don't know, but it's not going to be right anyway. Um, looking at the graph is kind of, okay, whatever, but there's, um, there's fit meter challenges where you can select a challenge and then enter in the steps that you've taken, and it counts them. So, like, right now I'm doing a walk through New York City, which is like 13.1 miles, which actually is close to what the half marathon was that I ran. It goes a little further downtown. Um, but, like, my first day, just walking to work, walking around, coming home, I basically did a lap around Central Park, according to that. So, um, that's pretty cool. You can see your progress. It's fun. And with the altitude, you can do the same thing. Um, with the altitude, like, within a couple of days, I had already climbed enough steps to make it to the top of the Statue of Liberty. Now I am halfway up one of the giant pyramids of Egypt. Um, and that's just kind of fun because you... I was annoyed because one day last week I forgot to wear my fit meter, and I was like, dang it! Now I'm not getting any credit for any of this walking! And, um... Because it, it's, it's fun just as a, from a game standpoint just to see that accomplishment of, oh, look how many steps I've taken. Because the fit meter will tell you this is how many calories you've burned while taking these steps. But it's also fun just to see, like, relatively, like, oh, I have walked the entire length of Manhattan. That's cool. Took me a week, but, I, you know, I did it. Um, and then also I climbed to the top of the Statue of Liberty just by going up and down the stairs in the subway and at the office. Um, but also you unlock... Uh, new outfits. Right now, my me is wearing a Statue of Liberty t-shirt because, well, because he can. Because I won that because I finished the Statue of Liberty challenge. So, um, those are kind of cool. Um, as for the new games and exercises, um, the dancing is interesting. Um, it's a little awkward. It's basically just stepping on and off of the balance board, just like the old step game. Um, but you hold a Wiimote in each hand to do, you know, arm movements. Um, so, again, it's not like Dance Central, where it is tracking your actual movement. Um, you don't need to, you know, if it's telling you to go like this, you can still just go like this, and it counts, because you're moving the Wiimotes, and it just, it doesn't know exactly what you're doing. Um, so as long as you're moving them in time with the music, you're still getting the points. Um, but it's fun. I actually really enjoy the jazz and the hip-hop. Hip-hop is actually a surprisingly decent workout. Um, after a couple rounds of hip-hop, I was breathing heavy, and I'm like, okay, this is pretty good. Um, like, some of the other ones, not as effective. Like, the hula is very relaxing and not at all feeling like a workout. Um, flamenco might feel like a workout if I could actually do it, but I am really bad at the flamenco dancing for some reason, which is a good reason why I'm not going to pursue flamenco dancing as a career. Um, I also like... Um, a couple of the new mini-games, um, one of them is a trampoline jumping game, which is kind of fun, and it basically tricks you into doing squats, you know, because you don't jump on the board, you just kind of squat down and then stand up at just the right moment to get more height, you know, and, um, it, like, tricks you into doing squats, basically. Um, and then there's another one where you're doing the luge, and 
if you don't put your hands on the balance board to support your weight, if you keep your hands and your feet up and just lean back and forth to steer yourself down the course, your abs are burning by the time you hit that finish line. And that's a good burn. So um, those are my favorite new ones so far. Um, there's other ones that just kind of do a lot of balancing. And on the one hand, I find those uh, less fun because I don't feel like they're a workout. But at the same time, my balance is really bad, so I should probably do more of those. Um, like, if I try any of the yoga exercises, it's embarrassing how weak my, my balance is. I can't stand on one leg and keep it steady. I wobble. It's bad. So I should probably do more of that. Um, but yeah, so um, We Fit You. Um, if you have a balance board and a Wii U, you might as well download it. I mean, as long as you have the hard drive space. I think it's about like four gigs and change. Um, might as well download it. It's free. And then if you like it, just go buy a $20 fit meter and keep it. Um, then, uh, if you don't have a balance board, well, you'll have to go get one. Um, but it's a great game. I, I still support Wii Fit. It helped me lose 40 pounds years ago when it first came out. Um, and it got me in shape. So, since I've hurt my foot, I haven't been able to go running for, like, a few months now. So, I've gotten kind of soft and lazy, so I'm actually glad that Wii Fit has finally come out for the Wii U so that I can get back into it and get back into a routine and work out more and get fit again. So, thank you, Nintendo, for keeping me in shape. Um, the other thing I want to do is not thank Nintendo... Um, because this past week, uh, they basically turned off the Spot Pass feature on Swapnote on the 3DS, um, basically crippling the, the service, um, because now you can only street pass Swap Notes with people, and I don't street pass my friends, ever. Um, so, like, all, like, most of my friends live out of town. There's a couple of friends that I might street pass, but I wouldn't street past them very often, and so there's no point, so Swap Note is kind of useless to me now. Apparently, they had to turn it off because some kids were spot passing inappropriate materials to each other. Now, whether that was, you know, drawings of penises or 3D photographs of penises, I don't know. I don't know what they were doing, but all I can imagine is that some parent saw what their kid was trading through Spot Pass on the Swap Note app freaked out, and instead of blaming their child, or themselves, and their parenting skills or lack thereof, they decided to blame Nintendo. Parents complained, Nintendo says, whoops, they turn it off. I don't see the point, because if kids are going to send inappropriate materials to each other, they'll just do it through email, or through texts on their phone. Turning off Swap Note on Sw Street Pass, like, basically all you're doing turning off the swap note spot pass is now they can't send 3D inappropriate pictures to each other through their 3DSs. But they could always just take the SD card out, put it in the computer, and email the MPO file to their friend who can then take it and put it on their SD card, put it in their 3DS, and they can still look at it. It's a few extra steps, but uh, they can still do it. There's always a way. The kids will always find a way. So turning that off just basically ruins it for the rest of us. So thank you, the, you few bad apples, for spoiling it for the rest of us. And now Swap Note is utterly useless. Thanks. I mean, maybe they'll put out a Miiverse on the 3DS. I've heard rumors about it. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. It would be great if they did, because um, Miiverse is monitored. So it is a, a monitored community so that you can post pictures and such, and drawings, but they are monitored, and they will be deleted, and you will be penalized if you put up the wrong stuff that offends people. Because um, I occasionally would take a 3D picture with my 3DS and send it to my friends because it was something really cool that I thought they would like to see in 3D, um, as opposed to just a camera phone picture, you know? Because that happened with a friend of mine after I took a picture of the King of Red Lions boat at Nintendo World for the Wind Waker launch, they had the boat 
taking up the whole freaking store. And I took a picture of it with my phone, and my friend says, how come you don't take 3D pictures? And I'm like, I had my 3DS with me. I should have taken a 3D picture. I happened to be in the neighborhood a couple of days later. I took a picture of it, and I swap-noted it to him. And, and then I swap-noted it to a bunch of other people because I thought it was cool and they might enjoy seeing it. Um, now I can't do that because of some stupid, irresponsible little children who did the wrong thing and got caught doing it. Idiots. So hopefully they will put out a Miiverse. Um, I don't know. Until then, I guess I'll have to email it to the friends who I have email addresses for. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so that's, that's just my bitching for the week. Um, and I will see you next week, I guess. And, uh, I will still be playing Wii Fit, and hopefully I will be a few pounds lighter. Not that you would notice, but I will. I'll see you next week. Bye.